Hey guys, this is Getsu Mara, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Anyways, let me move my light further away a little bit. Alright, there we go. In the last episode, we uh, did some things in the Kusa Village, and now we're going to go look for the rest of those canine dogs, but I think we uh, uh, need to do some shopping. We need... Oh, mama. Oh, mama. I'd love to buy that, but uh, I think we need to see. Let's buy some meat feed bags. And we haven't used any fish ones, so it looks like we're good to go. So let's actually buy a couple of these. I don't know. I want to be well prepared, so let's GTFO. And do we know where we're going? I don't know, but it's on the map, so I guess... For once, I'll use the map productively. My god. Oh, I forgot to up like turn up the bit rate a bit because what I want like to do is since I'm trying a different recording format, the quality is a little bit worse. So every time I do a recording, I wanna up the bit rate to the point where it's like really really good and matches what it used to be. But I can't always get that to work, so let's explore. Fed those monkeys already. Don't want to fight that. Okay, we want to go over there. All right, let's jump off. Going. If there's anything over here, there's that chick. Talked to her already, and what's over here? Uh, I don't know what the hell to do with that, so. Hmm. Let's go over here, because let's see what this says. Sasa Sanctuary, straight to city checkpoint. Okay, that's where we want to go next, so let's head that way. And. It's just a wall. Oh, what the hell? Huh. Okay, but anyways, I've seen some trees that need to be thing done and a bird that needs to be fed. Yeah, thing done. That's the latest description of a bird or whatever I'm gonna do. How very, very, very intelligent. I know, I try, I try. But, so let's go. Bloom. Bloom. And, uh. I think those are the only two. Yeah. Okay, now let's go in then. Actually, uh, I want to explore down here first because I haven't really took a look at. Oh my god, black horses, so let's feed them. They eat herbs, of course, because, you know, they're herbivores. If not, they'd probably take a bite out of a person. Speaking of which, I don't know if I mentioned this, but, um, yesterday, so I was at my uh, friend's uncle's farm and they have these things that. They're not llamas, I don't know the name off the top of my head, but they look like them. And, uh, they're like really cute, and we were petting them earlier, but, um, we went back to pet them again before we'd leave, and they were all grouped up, and we tried to pet one and run away. But they're just all grouped up staring at us, and my uncle said, or rather his uncle said, they can be dangerous, so we're watching. And they start moving forward at the same time, so we're like, uh, okay. They seem like they're kind of rough tumblers, let's get out of here, because... Yeah, I didn't want to get bit by them. As they said, they can bite your hand off. Which isn't surprising because they got pretty big mouths. But they got such cute little faces. It's like a puppy dog. Anyways, cool. A demon gate. Let's check this out. And two fishies. You know what? I'm not afraid of you guys. Ha. Hey. Oh, God. Haha, I win. Nah, 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 nah. I'm getting better and I haven't got a demon fang for a long time. Sweat him up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Do the hippie drum shot, hit the hippie drum shot. There you go, and now you're dead. Aw, such a sad, sad moment, and. So I'm just trying to take a look at how far I am in the recording, and hooray, Cherry Blossom's made up Pro Skittles. Which kind of makes me happy since, uh... Oh god, in my Oracle of Ages, I was just sucking, like, balls. Because it's the Hero's Cave, and I hit the one room I completely suck at, and... The whole time, I knew what I was doing, I knew where I had to put it, but I just kept screwing up. Alright, let's feed this deer, but... Yeah. I'm hoping, um, the next episode I record. I'm gonna finish it. I, I said I was screw that, I'm not doing it, but I just wanted to take a break from it because it's hard and it was getting on my nerves, but I will finish it eventually. And, uh... Okay. When did I bloom that tree? 
Hey, what the hell is this guy doing over here? The tree needs to be blooming. Yay! And what the hell are those? Is that a squirrel? Is that a fox? And is it feed it? No. Okay, if we can feed it meat, it's okay. That's definitely a fox. How foxy! Fail pun is fail. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we get some more praise. I think we need 170 to upgrade our next uh, heart container. So yeah, what's up, buddy? Bingo, bingo. What's his name? Oh, there, there, there. There it is. My pendulum's calling out to me. The treasure must be buried here. <sighs> Sorry. What are you staring at, Pooch? Want to help me dig up the treasure? My pendulum showed me where it was. But it's completely lost track of where it was now. There must be some kind of clue around here, somewhere. Well, I can't help you because I can't do nothing about those thingies, so whatever. And more things we can bloom in. You picking a fight with me, little fox? That's right, you're mine now. Steal you from your family. What you got? Uh, what the hell is this? I wanna, can we bomb this? Mm. Come on, come on, nope. Mm, okay, whatever. I think we've explored most of this place by the looks of it, so... Let's go to the actual destination. Silly horses. So in we go, we. And I wonder what awaits us inside. Sasa Sanctuary, sweet. Bamboo Village, Sasa Sanctuary. Ami, isn't this place the Mr. Bamboo mentioned? He said he couldn't get any bamboo to make his bamboo wear. I don't see how that's relevant, and oh god, it started raining and it's muggy as hell. Can I come in? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, you! Scruffy! What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? Hey, don't talk to me like that. Skip it in here with that innocent look on your face. I know you're just planning to eat all of us because we're little birds after all. You have a lot of nerve for a wolf. You know, this is the turf of the Sparrow Clan, right? Oh, just because you got a scar on your cheek you think you're tough? You're a sparrow. I can eat you in one bite. Hell, I'll put you in a pan have some fried chicken. We'll tan your hide and send you packing? What are you, a senior citizen? Ah, oh, tan your hide, little boy. I don't know. Hey, boss, let this cocky mutt have it. Oh snap, it's Mr. Yakuza bird, or whatever. Hey Scruffy, do you even know who this is? No, no, why would we? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. Ugh, I hate when it's muggy, it bothers my asthma. That's right, the great Jamba. Jamba Wamba, Jamboree. That <laughs> Big Daddy Jamba. Big Daddy Taz! Okay boss, take it away, he's all yours. Chirp. Uh oh. Oh snap, the boss is seriously angry! What in the hell's going on? Listen up, Scruffy. The boss precious daughter been kidnapped and he's mad! Sorry, I moved forward. You go, go, sit, go sit up there. Go sit up there. Sorry, my dog's trying to get up on the couch. Go. Fine, don't. Okay, we're doing everything we can to find her. We've searched all over. No one's getting through that gate until she's safe and sound. So go on, off with you. And he sort of just goes away. Okay. What a big threat. So, but they're not gonna let us in. And what's this about their daughter being kidnapped? Well, like the nice hostess we are, I suppose we should find out. Then again, we're not really a hostess because we just barged in and like, hey, 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 GTFO. So yeah, let's go see what's going on. I think I'll record like two or three episodes of some. <gasps> God damn it, why is my freaking breathing bother me? Okay. But, um. Hmm. Oh, here's the tree I was forgetting. I knew I was forgetting one of them. But let's talk to this guy over here. He probably has something to say. 
Yeah, he's pushing a wall. Huh? Oh ho, that was a big crackle of thunder. Sweet. I'm uh, pushing this wall is exhausting. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Yeah, my dog's afraid of thunder. Uh, have you caught the scent of it too, Pooch? The scent of the secret place that welcomes only the good-hearted. The scent of the Sasa Sanctuary. Everyone that tries to go there gets lost around here. But that sacred gate there has been a clue. Then this must be the place. And just between you and me, Sasa Sanctuary is where all the sparrows live, right? Okay, buddy, yeah, you go hide under the desk. Yeah, he likes to hide underneath my computer desk when the thunders. Yeah, sorry. Well, I saw one of the young sparrow girls coming out of there. So I'm sure the sanctuary must be around here somewhere. I saw one of the young sparrow girls coming out of here, so I'm sure the sanctuary must be behind this rock. Wonder where that little girl's heading off to. I hope she hasn't gone anywhere near the old nasty old couple. <laughs>